check, check, minus one, check. One, two, microphone, check. Amanda. Check. Hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, and welcome to the Four English Dictionary now. I'm just testing the microphone. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome. And uh, I hope you're doing well, wherever you are. Today is a good day. It's a Sunday, 10, 11 past 10, where I am. And I welcome you to the Duo channel. And to start us off, I have a few questions that are uh, asked. I want us to go through the questions and just discuss a little bit. Then we shall read some 10 questions and how to answer them. And then we'll call it a day. So if you're joining us today, welcome so much. and. Uh, you, I hope that you're having a great time. You can send your comments. I will be able to see them. I will appreciate any, any, any feedback. Good. Now let's start with uh, this video here. Now this video here. There is a video I did a few, one year ago. That was uh, about four things you need to, you should know before dating a little girl. And in this video, I was talking about the steps that a luo a person should take in marriage. And more especially, I was looking at uh, what happens between the time when two people meet and the time when they get married. So I gave uh, quick steps of how it is done. And uh, two days ago, I think I, re I received a few questions on this video, which I would like us to discuss. But you can also chip in and tell me the faults. So you can go watch this video. It's uh, four things you should know before dating a little girl. And uh, some of the comments in that video are here, right here. See moi. Yvette says, thank you. If What if the father of the bride is late, dead? Do you still bring cattle or cows? And you know, in this video, I was talking about the... This video, I was talking about uh, how the bride is appreciated. The bride... Is it? Yeah, the bride is appreci appreciated by... The bridegroom bringing a four-legged animal most especially a cow or cows and giving them to the uh, family of the girl and so she was asking what if the family doesn't exist so my answer was that you have to bring a four-legged animal to the family like the extended family so if the mother and father don't exist then you have to bring it to either the aunt the uncles the grandma or someone in the lineage even the sisters and brothers that's how i understand it so maybe if excuse me maybe if someone is uh has a another way of looking at it you could tell us in the chat section and then uh, maybe we can discuss it but what I know is that uh, 
when you're dating a girl, the low customary marriage, marry her, you must take bride price, and bride price usually is in the form of appreci appreciation, and they appreciate it by bringing some cows or animals to the family. Then uh, Tash also says, I'm intending to marry a low lady. How many cows are, are we talking about here? And how much to the mother regarding an, that I'm from the Kamba community? Well, Tash, the thing is, there is no written uh, document that says, hey, if you are bringing, if you're marrying this girl, you have to bring a hundred or two hundred or three hundred cows and and you have to bring three thousand dollars or three three hundred thousand Kenya shillings or it doesn't work like that. What happens is every every family is different and every person's pocket is different. So maybe you can be able to afford two cows. The girl will appreciate. Maybe you're able to afford ten of them. Of course, the more the merrier, but it doesn't mean that if you only have uh, one cow you'll not be given the girl so don't don't be scared just talk to her <clears throat> and i'm very sure that if you talk to her you'll be able to get the what she says and what her people say because most of it is about family so if the family says that hey uh, we want we appreciate that you have come to us it's okay I mean, most of these things, at the end of the day, it's about you and the girl staying together. It's not about anybody. So you may say that you're going to take a thousand cows to the girl, but the thousand don't even end up helping anyway. So, And you may say that you're going to take just one, but it ends up being a very good prize. Or not really prize. I don't want to say prize because that will bring issues. But you may say that you're going to take just one and that just one is what everybody needs. So I would uh, recommend that you talk it out with that girl and I wish you a good, happy marriage together. But uh, don't be scared. That is my take on that. So if someone else also has an issue, as a, a feedback on this, maybe you can just talk to us. And we can be able to discuss such issues. You can send your feedback on the chat box. Once you send your feedback on the chat box, we can be able to just talk together. Good. So today we also want to read. As usual, we're still reading. We want to read, but today I want to read like only about 10 or 15 questions. There are questions I want us to read how to answer them questions and so we're reading a question and answer session coming up shortly i'm waiting for questions and answers in the chat box so if you have any questions please let me know on the chat box i'll be glad to answer them so listening skills the reason i insist on listening skills is that language is about what you hear and now now that we have a way of hearing and seeing then language is about what you hear and what you see so i want to ensure that you hear and see as many uh, versions as possible then from there you can be able to start formulating your own way of understanding the language so Today we are going to talk about a few questions, which I think we have already talked about before, but we just want to uh, make better explanations and things like that. So the first question, questions start, most questions start with B, 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 E, B, and B simply translates to R, U. So if I say B, E, O, Be-i-ol. That means, are you tired? Be -iol. If you're tired, you'd, of course you'd say, hey, yes, I'm tired. And if you're not tired, as I'd said earlier, you'd say, oh, yo, ok, aol. 
Oh yo. Fuck owl. Let me let me let me just put that. Say. Oh yo. Fuck owl. Owl is tired. So when you say be yol, you can say oh yo ok aol or e aol be yol you tired good kawono wabiro tugo tugo mane kawono wabiro tugo tugo mane so this uh it is flipped a bit because kawono means today today what game are we gonna play? Kawono wabiro tugo tugo mane. Be idwaro tugo tennis. Now I don't know the tennis equivalent in the Lugo language. That's why I just put tennis there. Be idwaro tugo tennis. Kawono wabiro tugo tugo mane. Kawono wabiro tugo tugo mane. Ihero puonj mane. Ihero puonj mane. Ahero kwano kod dum. Ahero kwano kod dum. And some other places they say ahero kwano kod kingeresa. When uh, like my grandma says kingeresa instead of dum. And kingeresa means uh, English. It is the Swahili version of, uh, of it's the Swahili language of in, of uh, of boom of English. So when you want to say English in Swahili, you say Kingereza. Kingereza. But my grandma says Kingereza. So, ihero puonjmane, then she would say, ahero kwano kod Kingereza. Ahero kwano kod Kingereza. So if you like uh, religious studies, ahero puonjmar nyasai. Ahero Punj mar nyasai. Write that down here. Because I notice that you can talk all you want. If someone cannot he see what you are saying, it becomes very difficult. Ahero punj mar nyasai. So that means religious studies. Ahero punj mar nyasai. Okay. Ahero. Punj mar nyasai, ahero kwano kod dum. Be ne iloro otuchi. Be ne iloro otuchi. Did you close the windows? And uh, the question, the answer is, e ne aloro. Remember, we talked about otuchi last time and said, otuchi is no longer very popular. They all say Drisa. Drisa is a Swahili way of saying window. But we, it is acceptable. So when you say be, it, on, it simply means did you close the windows? So the answer is e ne aloro or oyo ne ok aloro. Oyo ne ok aloro. Be ne iloro otuchi. Oyo ne ok aloro. If you close it, you say, e ne aloro. Ame di chai. Ame di chai. Can I add you some more tea? Ame di chai. And I encourage that when you're uh, reading, please read these things aloud and start, try to uh, like model what I'm saying so that you improve on the accent. Ame di chai. Amedi chai. Oyo ero kamano. Oyo ero kamano. Amedi chai. Oyo ero kamano. No, thank you. Or e meda. E meda. That means yes, please add me some. E meda. So that's the difference. Oyo. No, thanks. Yes, please add. But you can also say, yes, please add me. Thank you. So that would be, oh, yeah, yeah, meda. 
ero kamano you know so that will be yes please add me thank you irwako ango irwako ango and uh, ango is a very difficult word to say because it requires uh, speci uh, some uh, syllables that many people have not developed so don't be scared if you don't you are not able to say ango ango irwako ango just practice arwako ogudu arwako ogudu so if you are uh, if you have a watch if you're wearing a wrist watch you say arwako sa sa is a wrist watch so you can say arwako sa irwako ango arwako sa or arwako ogudu pe ne idi nyeo olemo pe ne idi nyewo olemo pe ne idi nyewo olemo let's go that again pe ne idi nyewo olemo went pe e ne adi or oyo ne adi keyo oyo ne adi keyo so keyo is about uh, the harvesting season so when someone asks whether you went to buy but you went to do something else then you would just explain that on the statement so you'd say no instead i went to this other thing oyo ne adi keyo you like this person went to harvest instead of saying ne adi instead of just saying oyo they are explaining where they went to good the next one is talking about be ingeyo kama gweng nitiere there's an apostrophe missing here be ingeyo kama gweng nitiere be ingeyo kama gweng nitiere and if you if you listen the i between the i between nit and it the i between n and t is a little bit silent so you can say be ingeyo kama gweng ntiere most people will say that so be ingeyo kama gweng ntiere so if you hear someone say ntiere it is a contraction of that i the i is a little bit silent so and you'd say a abiro tango ni yo a abiro tango ni yo can we say that together a abiro tango ni yo again a Abiro tango ni yo. Good. Practice, 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 practice. Next one is be iparo ni koth di chwe. Be iparo ni koth di chwe. Be iparo ni koth di chwe. E maka chalo boche mag koth e maka chalo boche mag koth maka chalo boche mag koth that's it e maka chalo boche mag koth Be inyalo winja maber. Be inyalo winja maber. And this is a uh, common when you are talking to someone on the phone and they cannot hear you. Be inyalo winja maber. A. Anyalo winji maber. If they cannot hear you, of course, you'll say oyo. 
ok anyal winji maber. Okay? Let me change that and put it here. So if you cannot hear, oh yo, ok anyal winji maber. So if you cannot hear them, that is the, the response you give. If you can hear them, of course, you say anyal winji maber, but if you cannot, just say oh yo. Ok anyal winji maber. Oh yo. Ok anyal winji maber. Ok anyal winji maber. Eh. Anyal winji maber. Eh. Anyal winji maber. Good. Let's move on to next one and see what's happening. Be itomo itim. Uh, wait, wait, wait. That is a wrong uh, spelling. Itimo. Be itimo gimoro amora. In fact, that is a wrong way. Be nitie gima gimo kawo. So be nitie. These things I wrote them in 2019. Sometimes my brain then was not. I think this is a better way of asking that question. Be nitie gima itimo kawono godi godi yambo. That's a better way to ask. That is a beautiful way of asking. Be nitie gima itimo kawono godi yambo. Be nitie gima itimo kawono godi yambo. Is there anything else you're doing today in the evening, this evening? Benitie gima itimo kawono godiambo. And your answer depends if you have something, then you say, eh, nitie gima atimo. Or you'd say, oyo, onge gima atimo. So the only difference is that onge part and oyo. Oyo, onge gima atimo. Or, eh. Nitie gima atimo. Ah, uh, this one we have talked about. I don't want to talk about it today. Mano endiki. Mano endiki. Is that your bicycle? Mano endiki. So, if it's yours, yes. If it's not, then who whose does it belong to? Oyo, enmar nyaminwa, that means it belongs to my sister, or enmar owadwa, belongs to my brother, enmar minwa, enmar wonwa, enmar osiepna, depends on whom it belongs to, but you just say enmar, so enmar, it belongs to, enmar, is that your phone? No, enmar. Then you say the person. Enmar atieno. Enmar otieno. Enmar awino. Thank you. If you're joining us right now, welcome to the live stream. And please, uh, if you can type on the chat box, I will appreciate. And uh, just give us a thumbs up. And share with your friends that we are live for the next, uh, maybe for the next coming 10 minutes. They can come in and give their opinion. And we really, really appreciate that you're joining us. Be nitiere olemo mora mora. Is there any fruit? Be nitiere olemo mora mora. Be nitiere olemo mora mora. Oyo. So inyalo keyo. Uh uh. That statement is not correct. Olemo is not keyod. Olemo is a, a fruit, so you cannot like. Do it like that. So I would say, oh yo, inyalo pono. Olemo, you just pono. Oh yo, to inyalo pono gi e wodo. 
ooyo to inyalo pono gi e puodho that means you can just go and pluck from the from the apple tree or from the banana uh, banana stalk or from the the other thing is called what mainly uh, fruits fruits are in uh, how you call that thing on trees <laughs> they are not on down on the on the ground so oyo to inyalo pono gi e puodho that would be a better statement so olemo en mar pono olemo is for pono be nitiere olemo mora mora oyo to inyalo pono gi e puodho if you're going to buy from the uh, from the market the pay oyo to inyalo nyiewo gi e chiro nyiewo would be the opposite of pono be anyalo konyi e yo mora mora can i help you in any way be anyalo konyi e yo mora mora oyo ero kamano or e inyalo be anyalo konyi e yo mora mora oyo ero kamano but if you can then you say e inyalo depending on the situation oriti osiepna oriti so oriti you just say oriti nothing else but if you if you're very good friends then it might be something oriti one and orekendo that might mean goodbye we'll see each other again so oriti one and orekendo oriti and something else you can put in something else but oriti osiepna and oriti is good enough Have you met my mother? My mother. Be isero mo kod min minwa or no? Your mother is. Have you read? Have uh, be isero mo kod minu. Some people say be isero mo kod mamani. The reason why we say minu and mamani are, is because uh, people from different sections regard uh, minu and mamani to be. Some people say minu is derogatory. Like if you say minu, it doesn't aga well with the human, uh, with the mother's position in the family. But some people uh, in their culture, it's okay to say minu. So that's why I put the parenthesis, the bracket, and said mamani. Be isero mo kod minu. Be isero mo kod mamani. Oyo pok aromo kode. And that is your, not my. Have you met your mother? No, I haven't. So, some people say minu, some people say mamani. Depends. Hey, Anna, uh, Karibu sana, thank you for joining us. And uh, please ask your questions or comments. If you have some. I'm very happy that you're here. N pesa adi. N pesa adi. How much is it? N pesa adi. N pesa adi. The, 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 the A between pesa and adi, there are two A's there, but you can contract it to one A. So that you just say N pesa adi. That's what you'll hear people say. N pesa adi. And that means N pesa adi. How much does it cost? Now, 155. Remember our counting. Our counting, first you have to know the 100s, the 50s, and the 5s. So N ceiling. For this case, I used mea chia. But remember, I told you that mea is a Swahili word. But you can still say N mea a chiel for Piero a beach. Gi a beach. N ceiling mia a chiel. Kod 
quiero a bitch y a bitch. Okay? But uh, if you are to say the correct way, then uh, if you look at our counting video, you will see that it's different. But what people understand right now is Mia Achiel called Piero a bitch, ye a bitch. Counting, the trick is look at the numbers, start with the ten, uh, starting from the right, left to the right, and look at the place value. So the place value will give you the name of the number. Once you know the place value of a number, then you'll be able to tell how it is called because most of them have the same the same thing. Once you know Achielaria de Kangwena Bicha Uchelabiria Boruchika Par, then you know a par Piero Ario, Piera Dek, Pierangwen, Piera Beach. That would be good enough. Uh Kamba language is saying on Geza volume kidogo. Let me see if I can let me see if that will work. Check. Thank you so much, Kamba Language, and uh, thank you for always joining us in the sessions. Good. So, canceling Mia Achiel called Piero a beach. A beach. Be Ibiro. Be Ibiro. Ok apar, samoro, ok angne abi. Be ibiro, ok apar, samoro, ok angne abi. Be ibiro, ok apar, samoro, be samoro, ok angne abi. Now the way this is said, this one we don't usually say the way I'm I'm talking right now. What we usually say is Okapar Samoro Okang Nabi. Okay. Oh, he says he may zeka, lakini bado iko chini kidogo. Let me remove the filter. I think it's Okapar Samoro be ang ne abi. One moment. Thank you for the feedback. Check. Check. Good. So let us now move on to something else. Be ochiegni gika. Be ochiegni gika. Be ochiegni gika. Oyo ochualo rematin. Be ochiegni gika. Oyo. Ochua lore matin. So is it uh, somewhere next to this place? No, no, no. It's still very far. Oyo. Ochua lore matin. Oyo. Ochua lore matin. Be ochieg nigika. Oyo. Ochua lore matin. So this is a question you can ask. Uh, the next one is a question that you can ask your your young one. Idwaro bet ango ka ibet maduong. Idwaro bet ango ka ibet maduong. Idwaro bet ango ka ibet maduong. Daher bet jatiet. 
and uh, Jethias is not the doctor would be Ajuoga. The next the good name for a doctor is Ajuoga. Although Jethias can work, but let me just put also one more uh, Ajuoga. Oopsie. The hair bit Ajuoga. So that's uh, one of the things. The hair bit a juaga. Be inya lo duaro, gima ichamo. Be inya lo duaro, gima ichamo. Da hair chamo, kiem sa auchia. Da hair chamo, kiem sa auchia. Now, if this question was asked and the issue was about uh, maybe things like fish, like the particular type of food instead, then you just say daher chamo rech or daher chamo omena or daher chamo, whatever it is, you can just say daher chamo, then you put the name of the of the food that you'd like to eat. So that way, just talk about the food that you'd like to eat. So I'll pause for a minute. If you are watching us right now, please ask your questions. And uh, I'll be able to answer a few of them. If I can. If I cannot answer, then I'll tell you hey, that one is above my level. Remember, this is a channel where we just uh, learn Lua language. The reason why I started this channel is because staying outside of the country and my kids will grow without the Lua language. So this is one of the places where they just come in and they can pick a video and just watch. So when they watch the video, they are able to just uh, listen to me without that, you know, that, uh, how you call it? They are, listen, they are listening without that pressure. Pressure of, hey, you have to, have to. So that's why we are in this, uh, doing this uh so let me know in the comment section what you think if you have a question specific i will be able to look at it if we can talk about it that's good if i cannot then we can say that we shall see what to do so we have about 8 minutes left i, I want to limit my uh, sessions to one hour and the other thing is that i will be i will try as much as i can so that we do every sunday every saturday and sunday so every saturday and sunday i will try as much as i can to stream live at uh, about seven o'clock kenyan time or six o'clock kenyan time about there and sometimes sometimes things get out of the way sometimes you know there are things you cannot control you cannot tell but let's i will try to do what i can thank you florence florence says you're doing a good job thank you we really appreciate your comment and you're also uh doing a good job just helping us to Keeping us company here. Sante sana. Irukama no aenya. Nikki, come and say hi to your people. Yeah, right. Just that. Hello. Yeah, right. I want to end Sunday something. <laughs> this thirty first. What?
by the time you count to 30 you must watch your counting video all right so thank you so much everybody and uh, all those who helped us to who, who streamed with us today and uh, especially more especially to those who asked the questions on the videos and uh, let me just pull it up these two i think these two stood out well now if you look at the these two here simwa that's a difficult name simwa yvette may and uh, tash mudama Santeni sana, thank you for uh, ensuring that our channel is alive and kicking. And everybody else who is watching our videos, please just go make comments on the video so that we can at least... The more comments we have, the better the chances that our videos are seen out there. And that is uh, the better the chance of our channel being. So go watch this video. If you've not watched this video, please go and watch it. And then uh, this video here is four things you should know. Four th all things you should know before dating a little girl and then come back and tell us what you think you can make comments on the video and then we can also talk about it otherwise uh, it was nice today was a great one i hope that i'll be able to organize the sound system so that it's better and uh, thank you very much for always staying with us for now Bye. Oriti, 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 oriti. So, bye bye.